Hey everybody, it's Zach. Welcome back to another PHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to use HTML to pass uh, user input into PHP. So let's get into it. All right guys, so this will come in very handy when say you wanna do like a uh, user registration or user login. Uh, PHP doesn't display uh, to the user at all. Uh, however, HTML does. The difference between HTML and PHP is that HTML is executed locally and PHP is executed on the server. So you can't, a user can't pass something directly to PHP. It has to be intercepted by the HTML first. So in order to get user input into PHP, we have to combine both of those two elements. So let's go ahead and open and close our PHP tags. And we are going to create an HTML document below that. And we're going to name this, I guess, user input. Okay, now in the body section, what we need to do is we need to open our um, tag, I guess you would call it. And we're going to type in form action equals double quote. And in here, this is the page that you want to process the information. So in this case, we want tut.php to process this. So tut.php, the method is going to be post, and you can go ahead and close that off. Now let's create a text field. So open that up again, input type equals double quotes text name, this is super important here, we're going to name this field one. And let's create a couple of line breaks and a submit button. And let's go ahead and close out our form. So now if we come back here and refresh our page, we have our input field and our submit button. So we could do whatever we want in here. It's not gonna do anything. Uh, let me actually quickly show you the difference between post and get. So post, as you can see here, we can just type some random stuff in and nothing changes in the URL. However, if we change this to get, if we save that and refresh this, oh, no, don't do that. Save that, refresh. Uh, now if we type in some random stuff, field PHP, question mark field one equals so we could technically change the input from the URL so that's the difference between post and get get is visible in the URL post is not I prefer to use post it keeps the URL looking cleaner and if you're doing a, like a login form uh, always use post so let's save that now on to the PHP part of this um, what we're going to do here is we're going to, now we're kind of jumping ahead a little bit, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get further in depth with this later. Uh, we want to create an if statement to check and see if the, um, text field has been filled out. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if brackets is set brackets again, dollar underscore post square brackets, single quotes field one, because that's what we named that down here. And outside of this last, er, <clears throat> pardon me, inside of this last bracket, we're going to put and explanation mark, which means not empty. So not empty brackets, dollar underscore post square braces, single quotes, field one and then our squiggle braces. So basically what this statement is saying, it's saying if field one, our input field here, is not em or is filled out and not empty, run whatever's in between those two braces. So now what we wanna do is, uh, instead of having to type out the dollar underscore post every time, let's just give that a variable, which we've learned about in previous tutorials. So we're gonna name this input so dollar, uh, dollar sign, of course, as we learned before, is the variable. So input equals dollar underscore post 
square brackets, uh, single quotes, field one, and our semicolon. So now what we can do is we can test this. We can echo that out. Let's get rid of uh, all of that stuff. Hello world, hit submit, and it echoes out hello world. So now if we wanted to have another page handle this, so we're gonna name this uh, tut2.php. So if we wanted to pass the information from one page to another, we would simply copy this and paste it into tut2.php. And we would change our form action from tut.php to tut2.php. And we would do hello world. And now we're on tut2.php. So something else that you can do is you can pass HTML, unless you specifically tell PHP not to, you can pass HTML in here. So you could do something like, um, let's do bold hello world line break h1 uh, with an underline nice to see you and there you have it so to recap we have taken we've created an HTML form with user input we have told the HTML where we want to send the information from the user input and we have created the PHP script that is checking to make sure that that is in fact filled out and not empty. And then we have assigned a variable to the uh, HTML and we have told it to echo this out. So this will come in very handy in the next tutorial where we will be making a magic eight ball, a fun little game which you can code in five, 10 minutes. So I hope to see you in that video. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below like, comment, share, subscribe, definitely subscribe. It helps me out and I will see you in the next one.